No, it's not a question of uh, not even testing, but it's certainly a breaking point issue whereby there are thousands upon thousands of tests to do. And on the other hand, the lateral flow device tests are pretty good. So what we have to do is rationalize and be measured in our approach. The key point, and this is the really key point, which is the government must emphasize how to do the lateral flow device test properly. And if the lateral flow device test is done properly, by and large, we will pick up most cases that we wish to pick up. Now, with the numbers of new infections uh, just spiking the way they are, and many of these second uh, occurrences of infection in people, is there an end in sight? Or, or does this wave of outbreak show that really COVID isn't going anywhere for now? Unfortunately, it's going nowhere. And the one way to make it subside and subdue and us to regain control is as an emergency, immunize and immunize all over the world simultaneously, starting from the higher risk groups going downwards. And if we do that, it is in our own self-interest because what we will do is reduce the amount of circulating virus and that way we are safe, they are safe. That is the best way forward. Now, there's been some a bit of a discouragement, at least in Israel here, a high percentages of vaccinated individuals now, nonetheless, seeing an unprecedented record setting wave of infections. Are, are we in a bit of a reckoning moment or a, a, even a type of rebuke for the current vaccines that are out there? It is a bit of a rebuke. And the rebuke is that the, we've always known that the immunity from vaccines against coronavirus is not robust or long lasting. And therefore the trick and it's not really a trick, but the sensible thing to have done would have been to subdue infections all over the globe simultaneously. That way, uh, you are immunized, I am immunized, I don't infect you, you don't infect me. And that should have been the strategy. The other strategy that we should also be looking at is developing better vaccines that give better long-term immunity. And it is possible. So some money needs to be set aside for developing vaccines that give longer lasting immunity. That is something we shouldn't overlook. Are you seeing those priorities in the right place among the health officials, developing better vaccines, developing more efficient testing regimens as well? Are they focused on the right things? They are within reason, but unfortunately, every one of the vaccine manufacturers went for the quick fix, which was uh, develop vaccines against the spike protein. Uh, another arm should really have also opened up, which is develop vaccines against other proteins on the coronavirus, which are much more stable and they don't keep on changing. Once we've mastered that one, I promise you we will be in a much better place. Well, as always, Dr. Barapankanya, appreciate your expertise in our program. Thank you.